Okay, uh, wait, what the fuck? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna try this one more time. We're gonna try this again. Um, and do another song just to show how quick it is. Okay, so let's find another one. This one would be fun. Yeah, this one's fun. So take this, copy the song link. Uh, go to Python. Bam. And now all you literally do is run it and you wait. All right, now you wait and it'll just run. It'll just run. I'm going to see how fast that was. <laughs> so. Bam, there we go. Easy, easy. Already moved the new song and everything. Bam, bam. This one looks like it's going to be really fun. All right. So now we are do doing the effects. We'll know it's done when it gets to roughly here. Okay, now let's just see what it looks like. Yo, this is kind of sick. Yo. This is fire. my base down dab it up dab it up dab I don't give a fuck about that dab it up dab it up dab this actually turned out really good. Oh, it missed that that roll there. Ah. Oh. Damn, it's fucking. It's whatever. Damn, it missed the... It's fine. Damn. That was sick. I think this looks really cool, actually. Yo, I'm definitely uploading this one. And that's it. That's all you fucking did is a one fucking click. But of course, there's like a few things that lack with that, like chaos and the stuff that comes from doing stuff manually. So that's why you need to implement a lot more chaos in the actual automation, like random numbers, fucking random shit, a little bit of offsets and shit, which is still I'm working on. I did get a little bit of some offset stuff in there. Um, the shakes, completely random, like, but another thing I do wanna do is um, detect the length of the bass, so it automatically moves to the bass, and I think that'd be sick. But yeah, that, whatever, fuck it, this is my little thing. I'm gonna render it now. Here.